Welcome to the Praetorian Guard detailed training on managing companies. Praetorian Guard is a Microsoft-based network management, network monitoring, and employee monitoring system. In this training course, we'll cover how to manage a company and how they're relevant to Praetorian Guard. Let's begin. Once you've logged into the Praetorian Guard System Administration Console, to manage a company, click on the System Maintenance button and then browse to Manage Organization Subgroup and click on Manage Companies. Under this area you see a listing of active companies and inactive companies. We have three active companies. The default company is created by default when you install the Praetorian Guard system to aid in setup for small companies who don't really need to manage anything by the company organization tree. Companies within Praetorian Guard allow you to create an organizational tree structure to represent how your company is organized by departments, divisions, etc. To create a new company, simply click New Company. In addition, if you want to set a company to an active, simply choose the company you wish and press the Inactivate Company button. We're going to do a new company. When you go to create a company within Praetorian Guard, you must first choose the name of the company that you wish to display within the Praetorian Guard product. For example, we'll do Test Company. You can do use the DBA field, which is doing business as, if you use a different name for actual trading. You can key your address, state, city, all the detailed information that you'd like for your company. In addition, you can choose at this top level of this organization, do you want all members, all users of this within this company to be forced to authenticate to log into the consoles. This basically enables or disables pass-through Windows authentication to the Praetorian Guard consoles. The security tab allows you to choose which users are administrators of this company. So this is the highest level of security within managing the organizational tree. So those member users who you've added to administrative users in, at this point will have full administrative privileges of this company. In addition, you can choose the organization tree. This is where you choose the icons that will represent the organizational units underneath your company that you're creating. Simply click down in the bottom, key the name, and then choose from the possible icons that can represent your division. For example, we can choose for our divisions, we might use a color circle. Then we click the plus sign and it adds it in. You can create as many icons as you'd like to represent different, different tree levels of your organizational tree. Simply click Save, and now your new company has been created. If you choose, at this point we could inactivate it. It will move the inactive company to the inactive company section, and we can obviously reactivate it as well and put it back into active status. Companies are essential to the Praetorian Guard product as they allow you to manage the system based on your organizational tree. This is especially useful for desktop auditing of users. The next course you should take after studying companies is the course for managing organizational units. In this course we'll discuss how organizational units are applicable to the companies. Once again, companies with Praetorian Guard are unlimited. You can have as many companies as you would like. These are especially useful for small to medium companies that have multiple businesses under one roof, but they wish to have the users within each business monitor the users in their businesses that they're responsible for, but not have ac access to other users in other companies. For example, if I have a limousine business and a construction business that I own both but I have different staff running those organizations and they run in under one building and use one network. I can strictly separate 
the limousine business from the construction business, allowing all of the users in the construction business to be monitored and managed by their supervisors and the computers in that group to be managed by IT staff if, if I so choose separately from the users in the construction business or the limousine business. That concludes our course on organizational on managing companies. The next one is organizational units.